Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back, everyone. Listen, if you, if you have an interest like I do, and I think you do if you're watching this video of the sartorial aspects of James Bond, this is the video for you. And if you are curious about No Time to Die, this is also the video for you. It is all around a brand that you have been very acquainted with for some time. Certainly I have since 2011, 2012 with Skyfall, through Spectre, and now with No Time to Die. And it is Crockett and Jones. Crockett and Jones, shoemaker extraordinaire. Uh, they've done a lot of personal things for Daniel Craig and of course for James Bond. And this video focuses on not one, no, not two, that would be easy. Three, or German three, three different pieces of footwear that Bond wears in no time to die. And we're here to talk about them today. In fact, today, uh, if this is Friday for you, September 25th, this is the launch of that. It is a, a launch of a very intriguing uh, and exciting collaboration between Crockett and Jones and Eon Productions. I mean, you know James Bond to be the world's most famous secret agent, certainly, but you also tend to know that he's the best dressed. And this is where the amalgamation of both come together. I mean, the secret agent before James Bond came along was, you know, it, kind of a loose trench coat and a doffed hat, and James Bond changed all that. Now, you've seen one of my videos already where I talk about this piece right here. This is the Highbury in the Black Calf City Soul. Here's the City Soul right here, and I talked all about this because it's the first time I saw Daniel Craig in person around No Time to Die on the set in London. Here it is, boom. And he was wearing these Crockett and Joan, hello, <laughs> Crockett and Joan shoes. And we talked all about these. We talked about them separately and we talked about them in relation to the suit that he wears, that Prince of Wales check from Tom Ford that I kind of gushed all over. All right. So now we've got some pretty exciting news because that was one particular aspect. And I do want to talk about just fun. And yes, yes, folks, because I don't want to get anything wrong. I do have notes. Um, so the Highbury itself is, uh, is considered the Derby. It's a three eyelet Derby shoe. This is part of the announcement today is this shoe. We've got some nice hero shots here that, that look even better than that one. Go figure because I've been wearing this one. Uh, but just a little bit about it. The Derby is the most versatile of all shoe styles, bridges the gap between smart and casual wear. James Bond wears the timeless Highbury in a number of key scenes during No Time to Die. That is their words. We know some of those scenes. And this video is really around a preview because even though we have these Highberries, we don't have two out of the three, but we're getting them. They're coming in, we've ordered them, and we're gonna be doing a full unboxing, a full review, a full wearing them out in the wild. Yes, we are going to put them through the James Bond paces that we all know and love. But let's really dive into one of the previews that I think Crockett and Jones is most excited about, and I know I am as well, because I didn't even know that they were making this. All right, we gotta read a little bit. The tuxedo is the most iconic of the James Bond wardrobe looks, says No Time to Die's costume designer, Sidorat and Lalarb. And the finishing tuck to this tuxedo is, of course, the right pair of shoes. A shoe will finish off any look and make it perfect from a visual standpoint. How true that is. When Bond walks into a room, he has to be immaculate and sharp, but also subtle, elegant, yet understated, inspired by this perfection combination, Crockett and Jones are proud to announce James. All right, so here's the first bit of news. Again, blindsiding, but in the most positive way. So made from the finest Bach calf, calf and featuring a signature hand-grade leather sole, James is a 007 limited edition. The shoe is crafted from the smallest skins with the tightest break, all sourced from the finest European tanneries. The black box calf perfectly highlights the contours of Last 348. You know Last 348, don't pretend you don't. A classic chiseled form and arguably the most innovative last from a generation of sh uh, shoemakers. James pays homage to Crockett and Jones' world-renowned whole cut Oxford last. And one of the cool things about all of this is that it is featured 
And one of the things that I do want to discuss with you is some of the accoutrements that it comes with. First of all, it's fully leather lined. It features an all black interior with silver foiled logo and is presented in exclusive 007 packaging with a chrome shoehorn, shoe brush, and a pair of fully lasted handmade shoe trees all embossed with the iconic 007 logo. Okay, stop the phone, stop the presses. This thing is not overtly branded, so you're walking around with, you know, giant, you know, monograms on it. No, it's subtle, it's on the inside, it's hidden. But we love the pomp and circumstance. We love the display. We love the packaging. This thing just went to the walls with packaging. We've talked about some aspects of packaging out there with No Time to Dive, which we, we wish were taken to the next level. This is that next level. So pretty exciting. Working closely with 007 filmmakers, Crockett and Jones supplied two further styles to the production. As we know, James Bond wears the timeless Highbury and a number of key scenes and the molten. All right. So Bond is known for his perfectly elegant comportment in all situations. And in no time to die, Crockett and Jones shoes are very much a part of that equation, continues Alarb. The multi-award winning costume designer notes that Crockett and Jones premier last provide an impeccable platform from which to work. And here we go. Great quote. What separates a good custom make from a perfect one is a question of having the time to achieve that perfection, she explains. And we were steps ahead with Crockett and Jones already perfected last. They were able to provide us exactly what we needed and without a hitch. Get it? Working with Crockett Jones to achieve the custom shoes we required for No Time to Die was an absolute pleasure from start to finish. All right. So now we've got to show a preview of the Moltons because this is something that I think some of us eagle-eyed had seen in this particular scene in Norway. We couldn't identify the shoes. Some of us thought they were Danners. Some thought they were black, black suede. Hmm. Some better pictures came out. Brown suede. All right. Well, introducing the Molten and some incredible images around this. The third piece is the Molten. It's available in dark brown rough out suede. The Molten is a plain fronted three eyelet chukka boot made from robust and age defying rough out suede with Danite rubber soles. Love those Danite rubber soles. It's said that the chukka boot has both a sporting and a British military heritage dating back over a century, and it proves the perfect choice in No Time to Die when Bond travels to Norway. So they come right out and talk about Norway. Giving Moulton's rough out suede the tough workout for which it is made, Moulton is designed to be the perfect choice for winter months in the Northern Hemisphere. And ladies and gentlemen, all right, now you understand why I came out in the Rag and Bone, the Massimo Alba, I've got the Omega Watch Sporting, I've got the plants, uh, the plants. Maybe I've got plants, but these are pants, David. Uh, I've got the pants to replicate this Norway outfit. I just need to get the, the Moltons. That's all I need to get, and I will be there. So clearly there is a focus on the James. The Moltons, to me, just at first blush from what I've seen, are the ones that I would grab and go, well, in just about any situation. But we're going to wait till we do a full physical unboxing and review to draw that conclusion. And yes, I'm going to pair it with this outfit because it goes with that outfit. Who knows if it goes with any other outfit? We have to watch the movie. Clearly, we've talked about the Highbury, so that's received a little bit of love. But the James, the James seems to be the major focus and a lot of the excitement from Crockett and Jones and their collaboration with Eon. The James is a doffing of the hat to James Bond. The way it's cut, uh, the way it looks, the way it's styled, specifically to be worn with the tuxedo. It's being paired with that Tom Ford tuxedo. And let's face it, nothing says James Bond like James Bond in a tuxedo. Now, Crockett and Jones is completing the look. But that packaging, I've got to go back to it for a second because that packaging is something that you just can't get away from it because it is a collectible. It, it makes it look like a display. But these shoes, as I can attest to, are to be worn because I would say 70% of my boots and shoes are Crockett and Jones. So it is something that we're looking forward to. Today was a preview. This is to whet our appetites until the other two shoes come in. And then we're going to be doing a big, a big review 
of these. So for now, I want you to take a look at something. Crockett and Jones sent us something very special. It is a video. And the video is basically all of us following in the footsteps of James Bond. Take a look. Okay, we're going to leave you with that sneak preview for now. I'm going to dust these off, polish them up in anticipation of the other two shoes coming in. And it's just another moment in brand journey where we start to get excited for the reveal of No Time to Die. In the meantime, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.